All right, guys. So, um, I've been neglecting my towers again. <laughs> uh, and I had my phone and wallet stolen, so some of the pictures that I was going to update you with, uh, no longer exist. So, that's okay. Um, I just wanted to get some pictures before I pick Mad Hatter Pippers right finally. Big one at least. And then there's some smaller ones on here as well. Um, this is my purple bell pepper I was setting up. And it's like November 7th-ish. I think I'm not sure. I'm not really. I'm taking a vacation from working and stuff, so I'm taking a vacation, so <laughs> I don't care what day it is. Anyway, this is my volunteer pepper. And then I finally had an eggplant set up on this tower. I've had them set up on the other towers, uh, the round kind. This is my first uh, long one. So I was just having like a pollination issue at first, but now they seem to be setting up good. <laughs> Obviously lots of tomatoes that have all fallen over on to themselves, um, sweet potatoes. And then I caught the chickens in here again, jumping up and eating the big tomatoes because I had this not all the way closed. I can get in here without falling on my face. Okay. And then I have this stuff in here temporarily. It's like a big water thing to keep it alive. I'm kind of traveling and stuff right now. Um, lime quat is still flowering. It's not the right time for that. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's look over here. You can see this Thai basil has really taken off now. This whole thing. I just put this regular basil in here, so it's getting a little rough still. Um, this Mad Hatter pepper has like a six six peppers on it. It's a really fun shape. I just like these a lot because of their shape. Uh, watermelon, habanero, this cayenne pepper has been eaten back a bunch, so it's not doing super hot. Pun intended. <laughs> All right. <laughs> these were some of the tomatoes that the chickens were trying to jump up and grab. I gave them the one that was lower down that they got. Um. So, there is quite a bit here I need to harvest, and I need to uh, tie everything up a little bit more. Um, watermelon, strawberries. I don't see any right at the moment. Um, this is my dianthus. Hopefully it'll have time to flower. German time over there. Um, this is kind of cool. I stuck a branch from the cherry tomato uh, in here with my scorpion pepper that's been eaten a bunch of times. Kind of to mask it too because then it smells more like tomato and it's already got a little tomato on it. It's already growing little tomatoes. And then, same thing with this one. I stuck one in there but it didn't live. This is my ghost. And I have my other ghost pepper inside that's like really nice that I took inside to protect a lot of these little pear tomatoes going on on this side. Um, I need to stake them all back up because they've kind of fallen over on themselves a little bit. Uh, this is my Thai pepper. Like a, so it's like a pot pepper, bird's eye, another name. Um, they're very, not very spicy. But some people consider them very spicy. They're pretty spicy. They're good. And then I'll be putting, obviously, the lettuce and things in here, in here soon. And then I'm going to try to stop by the Bruce Brothers one and get updated video or pictures or both. And also the community garden. So, there you guys go.